Hello guys. So good morning. So our topic for today are your second part of your stains, which are your special stains. So guys, marami marami to. Hold on to your seats. Um, hopefully, I added improvement. Uh, I presented it this in such a way that ano hopefully better sa module natin and uh, I tried to group them together based on classification guys so tingnan natin so we have a table of different tables of stains so guys um, I elaborated each stain so kasi parang bitin yung explanation sa module eh. So I want to add more in our discussion and group them according to this classification. Carbohydrates, muscle and bones, connective tissue, nervous tissue, lipids, tissue pigments, nucleic acids, and other stains. And so guys, naghalo na dito kung uh, histology stains and histochemical stains and a little bit of uh, immunohistological stains. So let's begin, guys, with your carbohydrates. So your carb carbohydrates, guys, especially your glycogen, yan, isa yan sa madalas na, na hinahanap sa mga blood cells natin, sa tissue natin, the presence of carbohydrates. And guys, carbohydrates could come in different form. So we have glycogen, so the storage form, we have glycoproteins, yan. Mamaya meron tayong mga mucopolysaccharide. So, note the term polys, mucopolysaccharide. So, these are still complex carbohydrates in different form. Ayun, marami silang, uh, they are sulfated. Ayan, marami silang sulfate. Itong mucopolysaccharide. And usually, their use is for ground substance. So, ground substance is your glue yung glue natin inside your inter intracellular tissue this is your glue that that forms that that uh, that makes your intracellular environment so glue siya okay simulan natin so ito yung pinaka mga common guys na carbohydrate stains okay yung periodic shift so, periodic shift stain. So, ba't siya naging periodic shift? So, may periodic acid and shift reagents, okay? So, this is non-specific for carbohydrates. However, ayun, pwede siyang glycogen, glycoprotein, okay? And it forms magenta or purple, reddish, purple or red, kumbaga. Best carmine. So, carmine, isn't it? It's from the cochineal dye. Diba? Para, galing sa mga insects ito that lives in a cactus. So, nag-add tayo ng aluminum chloride para maging best carmine siya. Okay? So, mamaya meron tayong picrocarmine kasi ang inad sa kanya, picric acid. So, parang may iba't ibang halo. Okay? Consistencies, um, different... Solutions that are formed once you mix different reagents together. And guys, this is the most reliable, it's selective, and specific for only glycogen. Yeah. So if you're going to choose a stain for glycogen, then choose best carmine. And it produces a beautiful bright red color. And guys, once you hear iodine, yeah, it's really good for starch. Pag starch kasi guys, it's the storage form of carbohydrates in plants. Ang glycogen naman, storage form of glucose in animals. So maganda rin to sa starch. So ginagamit natin siya hindi ba sa inorganic chem. At brown siya, dark brown. Minsan nag-form pa nga into black. When it, when, it when it comes in contact with carbohydrates and glycogen starch. So de definitely, lahat sa iodine is non-specific. Okay? Hindi lang sa glycogen. So ang best talaga sa glycogen is best. Carmine, it's best. And now, dito na tayo sa mga mucopolysaccharides. So I hope, guys, na itong mga mucopolysaccharides na to, 
ano to eh, napag-aralan na natin to sa fixatives eh, na lead fixatives ang bagay sa kanya. Yan, di ba? Yan, example, I see yan, blue. Yan. Pag mucopolysaccharides, guys, mag-lead fixatives tayo. So, mucopolysaccharides, guys, these are carbohydrates, ha? pero merong na-add sa kanila yung mga sulfates. Yan. So, ano ba itong mga mucopolysaccharides? Mga heparin, mucin, amyloid. So, these are mucopolysaccharides. And guys, amyloids, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, abnormal ang formation ng amyloid, okay? Um, in cases of uh, yung um, slow, slow deterioration of memory, mga dementia, Alzheimer's, there is increased formation of amyloid. Yan. So when there is amyloid, it's a pathological, it's a sign for that there is pathology in my sakit. So guys, these are the stains for your mucopolysaccharides. So, first two, yan, except to, bakit may, okay, dapat sa baba to. Anyway, so, acid mucopolysaccharides, itong uranyl nitrate azure, pro produces crimson, color, gomoris aldehyde, uh, acid mucopolysaccharides of your thyroid, and islets of longer hands, guys. Ano organ? Mahanap ang islets of langer hands. Yung gram sa iodine natin, yan, starch rin. So, pag may iodine, guys. So, grams is pot iodine plus potassium iodine. So, in gram stain, it's amordant. It produces deep blue up to dark purple, guys. I'll see yung blue. It produces blue once in contact with acid mucopolysaccharide. We have cryogens, Congo red. So, ito, Congo red. So, pag sinabi yung cryogen, so, ang pangalan lang nun, cryogen, pero, ang composition niya, guys, is Congo red. So, once, it's, once it stains with amyloid, it's red. So, perhaps in our previous discussion na amyloid is a metachromatic, it has a chance, it has a chance, it has increased chances of, of your stains reacting to it. At yun, it's a metachroma. It could, because of increased heparin, uh, sulfate, heparin. So, yun nga. Medyo nakakalito lang kasi nga, hindi naman nagbago yung kulay. But they're saying na, na ang amyloid is promotes metachromasia. So, just, just to let you know. So, meron din tayong fluorescent acridine orange stain. Yan. So, may, ibig sabihin may fluorescent label. So, guys, uh, madalas, pag gumagamit tayo ng immunohistochemical staining, um, yung acid mucopolysaccharide natin, guys, it acts as a antigen. Yan. Yung tissue natin, it acts as an antigen yung stain natin, it contains the antibody. Here, the antibody is labeled with fluorescent acridine orange. So, yan. Yan ha. So, usually, yung tissue is the antigen and the, the solution is the antibody. So, apparently, the antibody is labeled with fluorescent. So, usually, nung naman. So, uh, acid mucopolysaccharide is black. Fungi it has a green fluorescence and the background is orange red. Oh, it's interesting. So, uh, so among here, ang magproproduce ng black na acid mo, myocopolysaccharide, specifically mucin, yung fluorescent. So, red, violet, pink, red, and so on. And tinamay tayo, muscles and bones. Yan. So, I'm looking for other stains in bones, for bones. Ito lang talaga. So, balsam, pag bones talaga, it stains your lamellae, which is brown-black. The rest, mamaya, are calcium stains na. And we have malaries, phosphotungstic, acid, hematoxylin, and tartrazine. Yan. So, sa malaria, black colors, at tartrazine, red. Okay. For connective tissues, guys, is sa pinakamusikat is yung bungee zone. And usually, we fix this with mercury chloride, a metallic 
fixative. So, una, guys, so most of them, Bungieson, Mason Chrome, and Mallory, guys, are staining your collagen. Collagen, okay? So, the specific connective tissue is collagen. So, for Bungieson, it has picric acid and acid fushing. So, collagen is pink to red. Yan, red is siya. So, ang color ng collagen sa Mason Trichrome. Ang galing nito, guys. Tatlo siya, trichrome eh. So, aniline blue or light red, light green. So, collagen. So, expect your collagen might be blue or green. Yung ponso red mo, your cytoplasm is red. Yung nuclei mo is hematoxylin is black daw or blue-black. Yan. So, ibig sabihin may blue wing, blue wing uh, reagent to kasi may hematoxylin eh. So, your collagen may be green or blue depending on aniline blue ang gamitin or light green. So, maganda. Colorful ang Mason Trichrome, guys. Kasi it has, it's using three stains. Yan. And we also have, so magkaiba to ha, Mallory's Trichrome. It has aniline blue, acid fushing, and orange red. And collagen stains red. However, let's add elastic uh, fiber is yellow okay so also we have azocarmine so this azocarmine has aniline blue so it i don't say non-specific collective tissue details next ito naman puro elastic fiber so aside from yan mallory trichome we have weigerts hindi ba ito ay isang iron hematoxylin yan it's more than spheric Chloride, it produces dark blue elastic fiber. We have Tanzer Una. So, pag nalilig nyo tong Tanzer Una, guys, its content is orsane. Yan. Diba? This is for the lichens. Lichens pala or lichens. Lichens pala yun. So, dark brown in color. So, yun diba yung elastic fiber? Parang garter talaga yung itsura niya. Parang bacon. Okay. We have Kaijan, and Congo Red is also for elastic fiber, not only for amyloid, it's also red. And we have silver impregnation, specifically Gomori's technique using ammonia cal silver. Hindi ba meron rin tayong methanamine silver? Pero focus tayo dito. So guys, your reticulum or reticular fiber or reticulin, guys, this, this is a network, guys. Eh, hindi ba, guys, walang, walang buto. Walang buto, sa, walang buto sa mga organs natin like liver, pancreas. And the question is, how does it have its form? Di ba? Paano siya nagkakaroon ng shape, ng form, ng structure? It's because of the reticulum or reticulin fiber. Okay? And this fiber, guys, are, are gyrophilic, meaning they love silver. They have high affinity for silver. Yan. And once your reticulin fiber is... Um, impregnated with silver salts or ammonia cal silver, it will form a dark brown color or a black color, hindi ba? And it dark brown because of the silver oxide, production of the silver oxide. Okay. Next is nervous tissue na. So, tapos na tayo sa connector. Now, we're in nervous. So, we have nasal bodies. Yan, ano may nasal bodies? Bodies ng neurons. So, we have toluidine blue, methylene blue, and thionine. So, ano, deep blue to purple sa thionine. We have Bilskowski. Yan. Huwag nyo kakalimutan yan. Bilskowski, guys. All around the neurons, axon, dendrites, neurofibrils, plaque neutrites, and tangles. It's black. And Bilskowski, guys, contains silver nitrate and ammonia cal silver. So, class, itong mga stains na to, black yung labas niya yun. Okay, and we have kahals, which is gold sublimate. So this is a gold impregnation. Okay, and it produces black color in a brown background for your astrocytes. So guys, yung iba yung mga astrocytes. These are your phagocytes that are found in the uh in your CNS, in your uh central nervous systems, in your peripheral nervous system astrocytes. So, we also have Weigert PAL. Yan, PAL talaga yan. So, Weigert, hematoxylin, lithium carbonate, potassium, permanganate. It's for the myelin sheath. 
including osmium tetroxide. So, class, itong osmium tetroxide is not only a fixative, but it's also a stain. And sudan black. So, guys, itong mga sudan black, makikita nyo to na it's for fat staining. And I think, guys, meron tal um, sphingomyelin ata, yung lipid portion ng myelin. Yan, so, um, mga sphingomyelin. So, yun, it has fat. So, sudan black could actually stain it because this is an all-soluble stain. Okay, halos black to lahat eh, except to white-gird pad. Blue, black, or dark blue. In picrocarmine, so carmine, so from your coconeal dye, pespicric acid, neuropathological, sorry, single L, black. Yan, pati sa module nyo, neuropathological studies. Okay, next guys, lipid stains or lysochromes. So, this stains your lipids. Yan. So, sabi niya, most sensitive lipid stain is sudan black or sudan black B. Yan. Most sensitive lipid stains. So, it could stain your phospholipid. And guys, so, when you have your HEMA 2, talagang ano, sa leukemia, you will always... Uh, encounter SBB, so then black blue, yan. blue, hindi niya matatakbuhan. We have most sensitive siya. It's a reliable stain for fats. We have Charlock R. It has Sudan 4. Ayan. So, Sudan 4 is a more updated version of Sudan 3. So, Sudan 3 mas luma yun and non-specific siya. So, Sudan 4 is good for staining triglycerides. So, guys, ko ang glycogen storage form of Carbohydrates, triglycerides are the storage form of lipids. Yeah, it's the most common lipid stain and it is red in color. Kaya Charlock R, okay, it's red. So then black SBB. So in, in the SB19, na, we have our red O. So myelin sheet naman siya. Dapat doon ko pala siya nalagay. So red or brilliant red, we have also osmic acid. Osmium tetroxide pa rin, neuropathological studies for black. And we have Lorraine Smith. It has Nile blue sulfate and for triglyceride or neutral lipid pink. Fatty acid and cholesterol esters light red. Parang pareho nga yung pink at light red. Eh, anyway, ganun talaga. <laughs> okay. Next, guys. Tissue pigment. So, apparently, guys, meron mga... Mga, mga pigments sa tissue natin, sa, if there's pathology, example nga, may mga, example, if you have sideroblastic anemia, yan, may mga accumulation of iron in hemosiderin, in siderot, siderotic granules, excess bilirubin, or bile pigments. So, Pearl's Prussian Blue at saka Turnbull's Blue magka-partner. So, so, ang laman ng pearl sprucian, at mas common to, it has potassium ferrocyanide while Turnbull's has potassium ferricyanide and once they will react to hemosiderin or to iron in any form, it will, the two will produce deep blue precipitation. Yung potassium ferrocyanide, yung product niya magiging, yung deep blue precipitate is a ferric ferrocyanide. And nilagyan ko ng are dito para ano clue ko there was a reduction happening yan nadagdagan siya ng electrons yan reduction and here very cyanide siya so nag oxidize siya so naging ferrous very cyanide si ayong product the deep blue precipitate okay and guys we have melons Oh, hindi ako nagkakamel itong melins na ito. Ginagamit rin ito sa um, clinical microscopy, guys, in detecting bilirubin content. So, its color is yellow to green. And stains. Yan. Ayaw din na rin pala siya. So, green. What else, guys? We also have melanin. Yan. Hindi ba? Malaga ang melanin in diagnosing cancers. Ganyan. So, 5% silver nitrate ang Mason Fontana. So, silver nitrate, guys, pag nakita nyo na itong silver nitrate content, black to. Okay? So, your melanin and argentafin cells. So, argentafin cells is in the... This is in the... Uh, 
Ah, uh, anong pangalan ng organ na <laughs> uh, The organ that is above your uh, above your kidney. Grabe na wala talaga sa isip ko kung ano yung pangalan ng organ na yun. So, <laughs> yan. So, it produces adrenal. Naalala ko lang yung mga parts. Adrenal cortex, adrenal medulla. Adrenal gland. <laughs> Ayan, adrenal gland. So, adrenal gland, guys, has your agenda fin cells. Yan, it could be stained black. So, we also have bone cosa. So, this is for calcium. Yan, huwag nyo kakalimutan. Madalas, nababasa ko to sa mga board exam, uh, board exam practice questions ko. And also, calcium is alizarin red S. And guys, yun nga, ginagamit nila itong bone cosa and alizarin red for staining the bone because nga, calcium eh. But yun, yung dinaskas ko is balsam. Next guys, nucleic acid. So when we say, dapat mali ako dito eh, hindi lang nucleic acid to eh. These are also amino acids. Okay? So, yung content nitong table na to, amino acid, like ito, arginine, cysteine. Histone is a protein, protamine. Okay. So, fast green, it stains your nuclear green. We have peracetic acid with alcyan blue. We have blue green. We have sakaguchi, yan, arginine. Kung naalala ko, kung tama ako guys, sakaguchi is performed also in clinical microscopy. Yan, arginine. It's an amino acid. Clinical chemistry siguro. It produces orange red. We have full gen stain. Yan, it is most reliable for DNA. Ginagamit to sa ano eh, sa, sa hematology, full gen stain. DNA is magenta. The background is green. Sino ba ito? Ano na bang inclusion yun? Yun, search If there is um, the precipitation of DNA. Yan, full gen stain ang ginagamit. We also have methyl green pyronine. Pyronine. Please pakidouble check. I think it's pyronine. DNA is green and pink to red. We have fluorochrome, acridine, orange stain. DNA is has a green for fluorescence and brick red. So, parang pareho sila. So, may fluorochrome lang to. So, may fluorescent labeled antibody. We have fluorochromes. We have FITC, Dancil. So, these are your labels. Lisamirodamine, antigen antibody reaction, fluorescence. So, your antigen are usually your uh, nucleic acid, your antibody, or your itong mga to. And guys, malapit na tayo matapos. So, benzidine, sa hemoglobin, it's blue-green. So, ano, lumang, lumang way to... Benzidine is uh, an old way of examining occult blood sa parasitology, blue-green. So, benzidine is actually carcinogenic, kaya hindi na masyadong ginagamit. We have crystal violet. So, this is a metachromatic stain for amyloid. We have, however, since blood to, platelet produces violet in color. We have gymsa and methyl violet for differentiating your eosinophil, basophil. We have methylene blue um, stains your plasma cells. So, guys, hindi ko nilagyan ng result kasi wala akong mahanap na reliable reference. Ayan. At iba iba kasi, hindi ba? ang color. Next, orsin method. So, orsin, yon yung from life chains. Yan, it stains, ito, pakaiba, the antigen for hepatitis B. Hepatitis B surface antigen, letter S. Eh. So, pag letter E, an envelope antigen. So, since it's S. So, it's a surface antigen and it produces brown black color. So, pag we have spirochetes, spiro so these are bacteria which has a morphological shape na spiral. So, example, um, Treponema pallidum, yan, mga spirochete yun. We have Levadites and Wartin Starry. Yan, lumalabas. Nababasa ko rin yan sa mga review questions ko. For Mycobacterium and Nocardia, so these are acid-pass uh, bacteria. We have Wade Fit. 
technique produces red color malakay so for for ano helmet eggs ginagamit sa katokats so yung cellophane guys binababad sa malakay green with glycerol and for bacterial spores so ano pa yung mga helmets natin ascaris trichuris hookworm yan sarami we have congoren ax congored axis Cylinders of embryo. Parang ano yun, di ba? We have kahans. Kongored rin ba yun? Ipaki-double check ka. Parang maraming lumabas na kongored eh. So, I was searching, ano ba yung axis cylinders of embryo? So, this axis cylinders are your technical terms for the parts of embryo. Basically, buong katawan naman ng embryo is, is from the axis cylinders. And guys, picric acid also are stains. Nilagay ko dito. Kaso hindi ko, wala ko rin mahanap na reference kung anong indication niya. So it's a your picric acid. Napaka all around ng picric acid. We have a fixative, di ba? Yung mga Bowens. Yung Brazil. And it's also a stain. Also your osmium tetroxide. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Bye. So I'm leaving a PDF handout sa baba. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.